Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with you, truly love this interview mad. Hi, load of closest orange of speaking level 22, boxes madman, good as fucking 2013. And all around little guy. Yeah. Good. Let's travel to much I'm gonna call it Megaton. Yes. Which is a nifty place. And has a bed for me where I can sleep in. And heal my wounds from battling my looks, which I had completely done and forgot I had done. Yes, yes, yes. Let me wait until morning. To see you alive and well, sir. Right. I have a suspicion that. Mad Dog was talking about something important. Yes. Something about trees. About whether or not he had seen them. Mighty fine thing you did for this town. Uh, you mean the statue I for, stole from you? Yeah, I think that was pretty good. Alright, the end. You. Standard stops. Where are you, sir? Hello, Walter. Remember, cat. What do you need? Interesting buying? Yep. Just take all the scrap I have. Well, all right. Let me. Goodbye. Have a good day. Keep cooking that meth. Alrighty on. Dad says not to talk to strangers. Onto the shoot that? I probably not. Moira. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Rivet City is actually the remains of an ancient underwater civilization. Yeah, I did get an answer. Aha! Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So, tell me all about it. Ah. It began as a research station, which is why it's still a scientific heaven. Even. Hmm. With the protected location and resources that came from those scientific advances, I can definitely see how it grew so quickly. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. For the next time, you've got to be quick on your wits. Don't tell me you're drugs. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Oh, that's nice. I'm ready to continue research on the last chapter. Uh... I've got to do a section on working with old computer electronics. So there's some research to be done in the old Robco production facility. Also, there used to be a big library out there. Imagine a whole building full of books. I'll need you to gather information there for me. And that'll be it for the last chapter. So, what'll it be? Um... I could check the library. Oh, that sure saved me a lot of time. But I bet their book wouldn't have anything about exploding mole rats, would it? Books are where the old world kept its knowledge, and libraries are where it kept the books. And there's supposed to be one in Arlington. See if it's still there, and if you can download records from its computer. Information dumps like those would be invaluable for rebuilding humanity. Okay, I'll check out my local library. Great! The library should be in Old Arlington, not far from downtown. See if you can download the archives from its computer. If you can't get those, then even the card catalog would be useful. Any little piece of information could help the book, and thus, humanity. Okay, let's see what you have for sale as well. Absolutely. Alright, you got yourself a deal. Though I don't know how many... Good hunting! Maybe I still need. Bye. Have... I'll explode, shite. That's got fun, right? Alright. I also have spatula. Is that what Eniko meant when she said that no man should have the power? Of two spatulas. Perhaps. Probably. Yeah, what else she could could she have meant? 
was the episode where I looted this extra spatula, wasn't it? Probably. Oh wow. How do I? Oh, there we go. And I may have been experimenting with Jet at the time, but I'm telling you, it's out there. Thanks for listening, children. This is Three Dog. Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. We're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. Time once again for an important GNR public service announcement. Remember, children. All right. So I put away my quantum and I put away my special. Everything's fine, everything's good, everything's groovy. What is my next quest? What is your quest? I could go to a library, I could go to the National Archives, I could continue scientific pursuits. Huh. I did not realize that I had not talked enough. Well, Alright, I'm gonna go back to Project Purity site. See if I can get anything from that. Though this is kinda silly because I didn't really need to exit Megaton to do that. Quick travel is quick travel and quick travel is easier. I have apparently used 164 medpacks. I think it's stimpacks. That's quite a few, isn't it? Quite sure it is. Huh. So apparently I missed some notes somewhere. So... Ah. I have a map marker towards the location. Um... This one then? So there's notes near the rotunda as well. We'll freely admit that I did not find any last time. Still can't see any. Are they downstairs? Why would they be down there? Shouldn't they not inside the thing? Map, local map, tell me. It should be right upstairs. I'm very good at navigating places, am I not? Yes, I am. Ah, there we go. Alright. Notes. I think we're missing quite a few entries. Even on Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault facility after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up any particular So. One night, after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day, Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex's social preservation program and his work on something called GEC, the Garden of Eden creation kit. Oh, yeah. 
Those are really spiffy things I hear. Alright, the dead to rivet city. Again. Which of course includes crossing the bridge again. Uh let's listen to this. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults. After hey, stranger. Want to buy a girl a drink? Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. Hello? I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 1. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. Alright, let's just listen to the last note while we're standing here. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills. And it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if yes? Dawn has the missing puzzle piece. Uh, Lean, a bird? I've already told you everything I know. I don't understand why you're still I just here. got here. Oh, fine. Good luck finding your father. Thanks. Guess I need it. Really? Where did it come hey from? There. Was it here? Because now we need to get out of here. Back to the surface world. Let's get Telestore. Hey there. Hey. What's a girl like you doing in a place like this? Looking for semen. Perfectly legitimate option. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Next time on Fallout Frame. Pardon me while I remove myself from your immediate proximity to shoot you in the head and take your meat. Thank you. Goodbye.